When we start talking about soil testing, the most important thing that you can get there for other farmers is cation exchange capacity. And when I say other farmers, you're probably wondering, what are you talking about, Brian? Yeah, because you always say you gotta have soil pH test first, base saturation uh, after that. Yep, those are more important as a farmer. But here's the whole thing. We live in this big society where we're less than 1% of the population and we have to be really good stewards of the land. And the way you start by being a good steward is knowing what your soil can hold. So this cation exchange capacity test, it's fairly inexpensive. And also this cation exchange capacity is not really gonna change a whole lot from one year to the next because it's basically a measurement of the type of clay you have in your soil, which isn't going to change, the amount of clay you have in your soil, which isn't going to change, and the amount of organic matter in your ground, which is going to change very slowly over a long period of time. So I'm just trying to say, get this cation exchange capacity test done. If you only got it done once every five or 10 years, that's probably good enough. At least you'll know roughly how much of anything your soil can hold, from water to herbicides, all the way to nutrients, and that's where we really wanted to focus on today with this cation exchange capacity. When you think about the holding capacity of our soil, one of the biggest things that I look at for our farm operation is just how much of a leachable nutrient can we hold, like nitrogen, for example. When we're raising 200 plus bushel corn, we wanna put on quite a bit of nitrogen, but we don't want that nitrogen to leach away or run off or have any problems that way. We want to keep that nitrogen in our field and in our crop because we're investing a lot of dollars in this and we're very conscious of the impact we're having on the environment. So with cation exchange capacity, we'll take that number, let's just say our cation exchange capacity is 15. We'll take the cation exchange capacity times 10 to give us a rough estimation of how much nitrogen our soil can hold at any one time. So if we had a CEC of 15 times 10, that's 150 pounds of nitrogen we could hold at any one time. Okay, continuing with this example, let's say we had that 150 pound holding capacity. If you test your soil and you find you already have 30 pounds there, the most you can put on then is 120 pounds. Well, you might say, I'm going for 200 bushel corn. I gotta put 200 pounds of nitrogen out there. All right, well, you just can't do it in one application. You've gotta split apply. The other thing is consider using some nitrogen stabilizer products. Those will help hold the nitrogen in the ammonium form longer, which attaches itself to soil, as opposed to nitrate, which is very leachable. So you have to be thinking all the time with this nitrogen deal, and I just want to tell you a quick story why. A couple of years ago, Darren and I went to the country of Denmark, and we were talking to all these farmers raising pretty good wheat yields who said, we'd love to put some more nitrogen on. I said, well, that sounds easy to me. Why don't you just put more nitrogen on then? They said, no, we can't. Our government limits us on how much nitrogen we can use. Well, what had happened is for years earlier, all these farmers didn't know their cation exchange capacity numbers. They were over applying nitrogen. And where do you think that nitrogen went? Went down into the water. And pretty soon when city people see nitrate tests come back time after time after time too high, they say, well, farmers must not know what they're doing. Let's regulate them. And I don't know about you, but I don't want any more regulations on the farm. So we have to regulate ourselves. We have to be responsible with the nutrients that we're applying. Well, there are a lot of important things on a soil test. And we strongly encourage you to soil test your ground this fall and learn how to read that test yourself. One of the important things that you're going to need on the test is cation exchange capacity. So before you send in your samples to the lab, make sure you're gonna get a good cation exchange capacity reading so you can understand the holding capacity of your soil. It's very important for your production. Another thing that's important to do this fall is control our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to do it on your farm coming up next.